Today, we're gonna to talk about the Lego version of the Adidas Shell Toe Sneaker. On the turntable, we got the Lego X Adidas Original Superstar Sneaker. This summer, two legends in their respective games came together to bring us one of the most amazing collectible pieces that we've ever seen on this channel. Now, I've covered a couple cake bricks, but this is completely different. This is an official collaboration between the Lego giant and the sneaker giant. This was available somewhere between July 1st to the 14th on lego.com and in official Lego stores. The Lego Adidas Original Superstar is a model of the classic silhouette of the legendary Adidas Superstar, also known as Shell Toes. This model consists of a whopping 731 pieces, which is a decent challenge for even the best Lego masters, and I'm nowhere near a Lego master, and I would say it took me about six hours to put this thing together. It says recommended for ages 18 and over, and I would agree with that. I know I started getting into Lego through these kick bricks that I found online. And the first one I did was the Sean Watherspoon one. And I had a lot of fun doing it. So when this popped up, I had to buy it. Just like the original classic sneaker, this Lego Adidas original superstar is tagged on the inside of the inner sole, as well as various other places around the shoe. It comes with a stand and plaque so you can display your model with pride. And if you're a Lego fan, and you want to customize your Adidas Original Superstar, make it stand out from the others, you could personalize it with using other Lego bricks and elements if you have replacement parts and stuff in your collection. I don't, so I'm sticking to the OG version. And for those of you who don't know, the Superstar is a low-top sneaker manufactured by German athletic apparel company, Adidas, since 1969. The shoe was originally released as a low-top version of the Pro Model Basketball shoe, nicknamed the Clam Toe, shell toe, shell tops, and seashells. This iconic design is known as one of the major influences in hip hop and sneaker culture. When the shoe was introduced, it was the first low top basketball shoe to feature an all leather upper and now the famous rubber shell toe. With its rubber toe protection and non-marking sole, the shoe caught attention from some of the best players from college and the NBA. Most notably, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Within the first years of its introduction, the superstar was being worn by over 75% of all NBA players. Proof of its revolutionary technology, which remains today. But here's the game changer. In 1983, Run DMC refused to conform to pop standards and decided that they're gonna rock and wear whatever they want on the streets, which was honestly groundbreaking. I mean, it's common now, but Back then, no one was doing that. Everybody was trying to be some sort of weirdo superstar. The trio was most notable for wearing superstars without any laces and pushing out the tongue of the shoe. Adidas found out about the relationship between the streets, hip hop, and shell toes when the band held up three striped shoes during a concert in front of 40,000 fans. And one of the concert goers was an Adidas employee. The group gave the superstar, and by extension Adidas, a lot of promotion as they went on tours across the US, which increased the sales of the shoe. The trio released a song called My Adidas in 1986. The song paid tribute to the superstar shoe and attempted to flip the stereotype of the b-boy. Years later, Adidas signed a deal with the group. The deal made between Run DMC and Adidas was one of the first of many endorsement deals between hip hop artists and major corporations. This model comes in an Adidas shoe box and the Lego model has the traditional shell toe shape of the original sneaker and can be built as either a right or a left shoe, which I didn't find out till I actually completed the shoe, but I built the right shoe, so I'm right-handed, and I don't know why that would make a difference, but I guess if you wanted to display it in a different way, then you want to think about it. So if you want to build a pair, you can buy two sets. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a different outfit while I'm about to say this is because I finished recording and remembered that I didn't talk about this little guy right here. So this little guy was an actual upgrade. So if you spent uh, $85 on the website, you got this limited edition for free. So. I had to comb the website, find the cheapest thing, get my sale up to 90 bucks, got this guy for free. It took me about an hour to make, and I believe this is the only way you can get this thing. So um, shout out to my Adidas Superstar sets. Next clip will be me in a different outfit. The shoe retailed for $79 and is still available on Lego's website today. So I say go get one, bust out the family, have some fun. 
And as far as what this may be worth in the future, I don't know. Let's stick around and find out. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if I missed anything. If you have anything to add to the conversation or simply want to be like, yo, this thing is dope, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Peace. Thank you.